Suspect is about six feet tall, average size. Ten four. How you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Enjoy your... And a good afternoon to you. Best year of Sid City. These old family recipes.
Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other crime activities. crime to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Welcome yeah. to hell, new boys. Ah, yeah, me, baby. Baby. That's right, welcome to my life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, they were here, all boy. here. Come on, the worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Let's go, assholes! You wanna make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back in line. No. no. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told.
Listen, Frick boy, if you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Leo Galante. Mind your own fucking you business. Gabe lately? Uh -uh. He's in the hall. Again? With no. They don't seem hey, too friendly. Man. Hello, Willis. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> this looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, dick! Oh, come on, you little grown yeah. retard! <laughs> you and your boyfriend Barbara are dead! <laughs> Step back! Okay, Did you hear me? Break it Get out of here! Move it! To the hole. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here, but I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. 
I guess you can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. That a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Ah! It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. <laughs> nice one. Nice kid, oh, nice. Shit. Give me that two more hurt. of those. <clears throat> Whoa! All right, one more, Vito. Ah, there you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another 20. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen. 
Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galanti. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. Oh. Your little cracker going down. <laughs> Laying down on the job like always. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. Man, who taught his brother how to fight? Now, Vito, grab him and finish you. All right, kid. Now put his lights out. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother... Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. Alright, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit someplace else. Come on, man, you're killing us. Jesus, your singing is the second worst there thing to happen to me in here. There you go. Make them sparkle. And hurry it up. 
Hey, pipe down now! Alias! Relax, fellas. I'm just giving the old pipes a workout. That's more like it. Clean it good. All right, all right, jeez. You guys got no culture. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. All right, Skeletta, get your clothes off and get cleaned up, would you kindly? What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> it's party time. Let's dance. <laughs> Do that again. Oh. Fuck, this guy's a fighter, huh? Ah. This could have been. Ah. Ah. Hurry it up, John. We ain't got long. Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? Gone, boy. You know the drill. Oh, and, uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me.
Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. The guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! I don't think so. No. Again, harder! <laughs> Had enough? <laughs> nice shot, Mary! Me ma used to hit harder than... Is that all you've got? <laughs> this time I'll... Jesus, the fuck are you made of? Ah, oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other... Is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about Adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. 
Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of film me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, jeez, good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. Got a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the camp. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. Like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up. But now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, you just went through a red light. This is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, 
with room enough for two, maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Geez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Eh, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah, this is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh... Funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a game? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that? Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys, taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. 
<laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? What do you got, an aversion to red lights? into their family for a fee, but we had no idea they were charging that much. Uh, they're gonna have to answer for their sense soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man. And uh, oh no, yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram baby. So Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching down. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. <laughs> Talk about a horse's ass! <laughs> no, no, really. Uh, Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mouth, you fellas ready to go? Vito! Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! I'm going home. Good night, you whores. Uh, hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all of us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less booze. <laughs> So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, Zeech in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the, what the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. 
I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent it. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got a spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? <laughs> a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench bag here is fucking killing me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Christ, Eddie! That, that fucking reeks! Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? <clears throat> That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> Almighty! How long this guy been in here, Reddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, it's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally, done. <sighs> okay, now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help here. Fine, whatever. Hey, fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice night, out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel.
guys kidding me with this? Oh my god, what do you know? Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up! Hey, shut up, you whore! Come on! Look you had enough, some Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Look at you. Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Fuck. Hey, Vito, rise and shine! Jesus! <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Then stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! Jesus Christ. What was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid used to live down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. So 
some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, very in a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. What's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the tape. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. You seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. What now? Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buy in bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Move it, Vito. A carton of reds. All right. Hand it over. Here it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a carton of blues. One carton of blues, Vito. All right. Hand it over. Here it is. What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues, as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Yeah, that Vito? Let's go. Caught in the whites. Bingo. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. So the kid Marty, he works for Eddie too? <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. 
He does jobs for me. Drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster, though. Spends too much damn time with the movies. Well, if the kid's got you for a role model, he's in for a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shitting your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? Version to red lights? See, what did I tell you? It's going like butter. All right, this almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, if the next few hours or anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second. if you please. Give me a carton of blues. Bingo. Here it is. All right, I'll take a box of reds. Carton of reds, Vito. All right, hand it over. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons, and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there, and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf, and it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up! You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now, and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Yo! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? What do I gotta say? That's what I gotta say. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach them a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster.
Now what? Shit, we should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him. Eddie, it's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greasers came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right. Sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of that crazy horse. The good news is he's gonna help us out. The bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All too grand of it. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed In right pursuit now. Of a speeding vehicle. These assholes ain't got a dime. I'm gonna kick thousand dollars worth of shit out of him. I'm with you. What's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie? We all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Hey, Steve. Hey. 
Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, Man, uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay. Why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut say up, today? kid. I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Let's leave him a little present. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. Now we go to the foundry. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. Hey, how'd you get in here? We followed the fucking yellow brick road. <laughs> Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! I'm gonna try and flank them. Gentle, boys. You're gonna leave bad, some eh? for me, asshole. Let's go. Hurry up and kill him. <laughs> we got him now. Need some help over here. They teach you that in the army? I'll cover you moving. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. You're <laughs> fucking dead. What does it take to kill you? Man? <laughs> okay. you in hell, asshole. Showtime, Vito. Hey, asshole. Try not to die till the fight's over. Hey, uh, yeah, I think all right over there. I'll be all right, yeah. though. Just a scratch. Good dead!
Going in! Go around behind him! Cover me! Nice shot! I got you covered, Vito! Move! myself. Go, Vito. Come out of your hole, you fucking rat. Stay sharp, Vito. Kiss your ass goodbye. Think of something. Hurry up here. I'm gonna find you, you prick bastard. Up, Vito. What are you scared, asshole? Damn, you're a terrible fucking. You're gonna leave some right, for me, Vito, asshole. Here we go.
Fuck. <laughs> we got him now. I got you now. Shit at the army? <laughs> oh, another one bites the dust. Let's go. Hurry up and kill him. <laughs> Damn. Suck on this, asshole! Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie will be fine. What are we gonna do, just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody, no more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek will give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.